because it's special and fun. Mm -hmm. All right, Kay Bilo is here with your update on this impending storm. Mm. Yep, and things are going to start to go downhill very quickly here tonight. And once the precipitation gets in, it's not going anywhere until probably this time tomorrow. Things may wind down around 4 or 5 o'clock, depending on where you are tomorrow, but could linger a bit longer. Let's take, a, take you right into what to expect. We'll start off with a look at things a little ominous up in Bethlehem, where the clouds have gathered here this evening. We had a pretty nice day today, all things considered. Lots of sunshine and temperatures were seasonable in the upper 40s, but clouds have rolled on in and before long, snow is going to break out to the north and west of Philadelphia. Rain to the south and east and the precipitation will just intensify through the overnight hours. Here's Storm Scan 3 showing the setup of our nor'easter, our impending nor'easter, I should say. Not quite a nor'easter yet, hasn't formed off the coast, but we've got this upper low, which is providing energy to a coastal storm developing here right along the coast of Virginia and North Carolina. You can see the heavy rain over portions of Virginia. A lot of moisture being pulled in with this system from the Gulf Coast, and this is going to be feeding our storm as we go through tonight and tomorrow. So light snow and light rain starting to break out right now, but it is going to intensify overnight. By 11 o'clock, we're already seeing some snow starting across portions of our western suburbs. Relatively light to moderate. Chester County, the Lehigh Valley, Berks County, rain to the south, maybe a little snow over Delaware. 3 a.m., we're seeing snow, accumulating snow at this time. 3 a.m. across our north and west suburbs with heavy rain to the south. This continues through the morning commute. So when you leave your house tomorrow morning, if you're heading out to work, if you're not able to work from home, I know a lot of schools have already been canceled. We do have snow from the city on north and west falling at 6 a.m., heavy rain to the south and east. You can see the steady rain starting to erode into the city. There will be a little bit of a mix going on from the city, especially right along I-95 tomorrow morning. But once we start to see this storm, really take shape offshore and strengthen, it should make its own cold air and we should start to see that mix line sneak a little further to the south. Still the heaviest will be in our north and west suburbs. That's where the banding is going to set up. And as far as our south and east counties are concerned, it all depends on if that snow tries to wrap in and get to the south. This particular model does not have that happening and keeps snow amounts relatively negligible in our south and east zones. But we could see a little more of a southern extension of that snow. By six o'clock, we start to see that move on out. So we've got a lot of areas of snowfall here. The biggest 6 to 12 north and west of Philadelphia all the way up through the Poconos. 6 to 12 inches will fall up through the Lehigh Valley and an isolated area of 12 plus in the highest elevations of the Poconos. Right now we're at about 3 to 6 in Philadelphia, but it's a quick gradient to that 1 to 3 and then maybe a coating to an inch, if not just mainly rain across most of South Jersey and most of Delaware. So this is your battle zone. This is your zone of uncertainty, so to speak. We may have to shift this further to the north or slightly further to the south, but high certainty on that 6 6 to 12 inch zone from the I-95 corridor on northwest. Winds will briefly gust to the 35 to 40 mile per hour range during the storm tomorrow. Not as strong as they were with our last system, but certainly strong enough to bring down any weakened tree branches and possibly power lines coupled with the heavy wet snow. So you'll likely need to shovel in the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos with up to a foot of snow there. North and west suburbs at 6 to 12 likely shoveling. I-95 quarter, that's where, again, that mix zone sets up, so you may need to shovel, plan on it, and if you don't have to, well, then it's a bonus. But as we head into Thursday, temperatures back to the 40s. That'll help melt the snow quickly. And we've got a relatively quiet series of days into the weekend. Watching a system cutting by to our south Sunday night into Monday, as of now, it doesn't look like much, but I'll keep you posted. Oh, okay. no, you will. Thank you, Kate. Yep.